what I want to talk to y'all about tonight, man, is being who you're supposed to be. Being in the lane in life that you're supposed to be in. Getting money in the field that you're supposed to be getting money in. Surrounding yourself with the people that's supposed to be around you. Surrounding yourself with the energy that's supposed to be around you. Avoiding the things that shouldn't be on the path that you're on. See, let me tell you something. When you're on the path that the most high set out for you, it ain't going to be no whole bunch of drama and whole bunch of trouble on that path. This, this, you stay, if you stay up, <laughs> that's the last chapter in my book. If stay you up. stay up, that go for a woman. But one, <laughs> if you stay up, nobody can't break your heart. And they ain't just financial. If you your best version of you, you can't get your heart broke because your energy is in you. Mm -hmm. Anytime your heart is broken, you have allowed too much energy into that person. That's why you got to let God be your accountant because he'll tell you how much of your energy to put into somebody. If you too, put too much money into a stock and it crash and it crash your bank account, you shouldn't put that much out there. Okay. But if you keep your energy in you, your heart can't be broke because God's going to be your accountant. You're going to know how much energy to put into that. Okay, so that, only put out what you can afford to lose. No, only put out what God tell you to put out there. He going to tell you. You're going <laughs> to feel like this person don't deserve all that. So I'm not going to give them. So when they leave, that was just tax money anyway. That was tax energy. But when you're trying to build this relationship and you're working on this, now you ain't even reading the word. God like, okay, so go ahead and work on that. Watch how I tear it up. I don't, I'm going to tear your heart into pieces. It embarrass you. You got to put, and you got God say, put yourself first. Okay, if I got this much water in a bottle and I want to put up a bucket of water, where did I get that water from? I'm in debt somewhere. <laughs> so now I got to pay interest. I don't borrow it from energy from family members, talking to them all day. You calling your friend. I'm tired. You calling. I got. I can't stand people call me and talk about their problem. Cause I ain't calling you about mine. Right. I, don't, I only call people I pay. If you ain't paying nobody, so it's like you got to put energy in you. But people ain't doing that. They trying to make relationships. My mama, we had no food. This lady used to pray for a man, but ain't never pray for no fool. <laughs> I bet God, like, he got a bread in the hand. I want to see you this bread so bad, but you sit here praying for a God darn James. <laughs> and we around here shivering. <laughs> so just stay up, fella. You stay up, you're going to get any woman you want. To put, and that go for a woman, too. If a woman stay up, you're going you gonna to control every situation. Put you got to think about it like this. There's what you want to do, and there's what God wants you to do. Anytime you go against what the Most High wants for you, man, it's going to turn out terribly for you. I ain't telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. It's going to turn out terribly for you. So I thought about that, man, after I was done talking to her. I said, you know what? I guarantee you there are some of my brethren who are facing these same situations. See, this is the thing. You got to clear your mind from what you want for yourself and figure out what the most high wants for you and let that be what you want. It don't matter how you feel. It don't matter what you think you want. Whatever the most high got for you is going to be blessed. It's going to be blessed much larger than you could ever imagine it to be blessed. But you can lean to your own understanding and be okay. But man, let me tell you something. If I'm going to be okay where I'm going, how much better am I going to be if I understand what the most I want me to be? So today we're going to talk about if you're not who God wants you to be, then you're a nobody because you are your purpose. See, we always talk about be on your purpose. Be on your purpose. Your purpose is you. Your purpose is becoming the best version of yourself. All that other shit about going to make money and do all that and your your purpose is you. Your purpose is self-development. Your purpose is becoming the best version of yourself in every aspect of life, in every aspect of your being. That's your purpose. All this other talk about purpose, I don't know what the hell they talking about. Self-preservation is the purpose. You see, you got a lot of men out here, man, and that may be some of you brothers in here, man who have gotten caught up in the habit of living your life based on others' validation. When I'm talking about validation, I'm not talking about the basic validation, brothers. I'm talking about the validation a husband gets from his wife. How much energy does a man put into that validation? How much validation does he actually get from her words about the kind of husband that he is? How good does it make a husband feel for his wife to say, I got a good husband? 
or tell him like he's a little boy, you're a good husband. Good boy, pat him on the head. How validated are you at the thought that you're a good father, that you're a wonderful father? How good does that make you feel? Well, let me tell you something. Being a good father is not your purpose. That's your responsibility. Purpose and responsibility are two different things. You can't allow yourself to be validated or even validate yourself because of your responsibilities, no matter how well you take care of them. That's your damn job. You see, it only takes a certain amount of validation for a man to elevate his outlook on himself to the point where he don't need to elevate it anymore. He don't need to keep improving his life. He don't need to keep developing himself. So you can't afford to be validated by your responsibilities. That's your job. Do those. Now, should you get a swift kick in the tail if you don't do them? Yes, because they're your responsibilities. But we're talking about some much bigger than your responsibilities. We're talking about your purpose. We're talking about the thing you were born for. You weren't born to be a father. You weren't born to be a friend. You weren't born to be a husband. Those are relationship roles that you take on in your life. I'm talking about you as an individual man. When you strip everybody and everything away from you, who are you? Where are you? Are you who you need to be? Are you where you need to be? Are you receiving all the blessing that the Most High has for you? For being who you need to be and being where you're supposed to be. That's the question that you got to ask yourself every day of your life. Are you in the place you're supposed to be in order to reap the blessings that the Most High has for you? Because let me tell you something about blessings. They ain't going to chase you because technically speaking, they don't give a damn if you get them or not. Somebody going to get them. You got to be where they at, man. You got to find them on your path. If you can't remember the last time you got a major blessing from the most high, boy, you're on the wrong path. If you can't remember the last time things just worked out and you woke up, damn, you had this crazy peace of mind that nothing in the world could bother you, boy, you're on the wrong path. The number one premise on the path that the most high wants you to be on is peace of mind. Any man who doesn't have peace of mind is not on the right path in life. You're not on the right path in life, man. I don't care how much money you're getting on that path. I don't care how popular you are on that path. I don't care how many women you get on that path. If you don't have peace of mind, then you are not on the path that the most high wants for you, brother. Because I'm going to tell you like this. There are plenty of men with plenty of money who easily write a check for half of everything they worth if they could be guaranteed peace of mind. See, a man doesn't value peace of mind until he has it. Once you have peace of mind, man, let me tell you something, brother. Peace of mind is literally existing in another world. You're physically in this world, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, you're not even in this world. So the shit that goes on in this world don't even bother you, brother. You understand? And it's a tough thing to do, brother, because what you have to do is you have to Put your relationships in perspective. You can't allow the emotional aspect of your relationships to start to guide you. See, we think about being emotionally available to women. You can't be emotionally available to anyone. You have to love people with your mind, not your heart. You give your heart to the most high. Let me tell you something. Understand what the hell heartache feels like. Ask some of these heartbroken men. Hell, ask me. Been heartbroken since I was seven. The only place you can put your heart, man, and not get that is with the most high. You can't give your heart to a woman. You can't give your heart to your children. You can't give your heart to your mother, your father. You can't give your heart to your grandparents. You can't give your heart to nothing. Or nobody except the most high. Because you got to protect it with everything in you, man. Men don't blow their brains out because of anger. Men blow their brains out because of pain. Men don't become alcoholics and drug addicts because of anger. 
Men become alcoholics and drug addicts to wash away the pain. Men don't lose their damn mind because of anger. Men lose their minds because of pain. 